guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhisperersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Monday and that means we're doing clean and simple. And I want to thank Kim Quaid for this beautiful card front I received at a swap in Fort Worth uh, using the waterfront set. We're going to uh, replicate this and I'm going to change out the sentiment though. I'm going to go with the every, every little kindness makes the world brighter. And I'm going to shift my bow accordingly. But uh, this is a super quick and easy card. So don't blink or you're going to miss it. So as always, top of the eye, bottom in the description, you will find all the measurements for this card. So no need to write anything down. Inks, we're using Crumb Cake, So Saffron, Pear Pizzazz, and Pool Party. And we're going to do our sentiment in Early Espresso. So let's go ahead with our Pool Party first. Bring in our Very Vanilla. And we're going to that inked up. Let's go ahead and bring in our piercing mat. You get a better impression, remember, with photopolymer. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Looks like she may have stamped off. I like the vibrant colors though. And then let's go with our pear pizzazz for like grass area. I love all the options with this stamp set. You can really just put it together any way your heart's desires. Make any scenic view you would like. Okay. Now we're moving on to our crumb cake for the mountains. Right, and then we're gonna do our so saffron for our sun. You see what I mean about quick, quick, quick? Put that right up there. Love that. And last but not least, let's get our sentiment. And our early espresso. Look, I'm maybe time to ink up my early espresso. All right, and let me kind of straighten this up so I get it on there as straight as possible. That's what I love about photopolymer. You can see right through it. There we go. All righty. Now, so we're done with our stamping, let's go ahead, bring in our pool party. Layer that up. What a great card just for, she's done sympathy, but you know, you could just really do just about anything. I see a little uh-oh up here, but let's grab our sand eraser. Kind of looks like the scenery up there anyway going to worry about it too much. Sand erasers are great for this, but you don't want it to go too much. It's going to be all right. We're going with it. All right, now let's grab our linen thread, and we're going to cut off a piece of that, say 9, 10 inches. You know me, I like to do my faux knots, and let me tell you, see how it's got the wrinkle in it? If you'll just take, here's a tip, pull it across your bone folder. See how that straightened that out? Okay, let's bring in our spritzer bottle. I've got a tip video on this if you haven't seen it. Oh, she's actually tied a knot. All right, let's do that. Let's see if we can, or a bow, I should say. So I probably didn't cut that long enough for a bow. We're going to give it a try. Here's another tip for you. Grab you some tweezers. And that'll hold your bow tight. And then you can tie it. I don't think that's going to be long enough. No, not long enough. Let's grab a longer piece. Let's grab a longer piece. So you can see me do it again. There we go.
coming down here to the bottom. So you get that tight. Take your tweezers and take it right on that knot like that, and that will hold it. And then you're not fussing with trying to keep it tight and to get your bow tied also. And you can just release it. Okay, so let's see. That's a little bigger than what I want. Pull that down just a smidge and then we'll trim it off. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to slide it. That's why I didn't put my adhesive on it because I knew I wanted it to come to this side. It's still a little bigger than what I want. Adjust accordingly. Snip our edges. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead, because it's a little loose, but that's okay, we'll get that. Get it down. My fast fuse wanted to grab that, but that's alright, no one will see it. it's on the back. You know me, we're always keeping it real. Let's get our base here which is also very vanilla oh and you know what I believe she actually oh, that's going to be good we're going to go with that she popped it up but we're going to just put it right down on there pretty cute love the waterfront set simple 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 I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're looking for an independent stampin up demonstrator and you live in the united states i'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business i hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting